there everybody, long time no see. I have not sat down to film an actual video since last year, believe it or not. Um, I haven't really been in front of the camera like this since I was back home in St. Louis for winter break in December. So it's been a while and it feels nice and strange, um, but I hope you guys have all been enjoying my My College Life vlogs. You get to see a different side of me in those vlogs, you get to see the real me, um, and how busy I have been. I've been extremely busy, which is one of the reasons why I haven't really gotten to sit down and film a video like this. I haven't done a makeup video in a while, um, so I figured I would do an everyday makeup routine because I've been getting a lot of comments, like a few comments, not a lot, but a few comments on my My College Life vlogs about what I've been wearing on my face and uh, what my makeup routine for every day has been lately. So I figured I would just do an updated one since it's the new year and I haven't done one in a while. Um, also, I have new hair, um, as you saw in my last My College Life vlog, probably. I've got my fuzzy sweater on, I've got my new Kendra Scott necklace on. Let's get into the video. So I have not really changed my makeup routine up too much. I do have some new products and that's why I'm filming this video. But otherwise, like, my routine really doesn't change anymore. And the only thing that does change in my everyday routine is my eyeshadow look. I really do change that almost on a daily basis. And I don't even know what I'm going to put in my eyes in this video. But I'll show you a look I think that I've been wearing a lot lately. And that's probably what I'll end up doing. Anyways, as per usual, my eyebrow routine has not changed. I am going to groom my eyebrows with this spoolie and fill them in using the faint color from the Naked Basics palette. So whenever I do my eyebrows in my videos, I always feel like they look so strong and dark. But I think it's just the way the camera and the lighting is set up. Um, in real life, they look good. And also, I don't know if you noticed, but my hair is basically back to its natural color, which is pretty darn dark. So I, I'm allowed to fill my eyebrows in dark again. Yeah, so as far as being blonde again goes, I'm already missing it quite a bit. I'm still kind of blonde. Like, there's still parts of my hair that are sort of highlighted. A little bit blonder than the rest of my hair but most of my blonde got cut off last week when I went to go get my hair cut like the lady just started cutting and cutting and it was like all of my blonde hair was on the floor by the end of that appointment so fun stuff uh, last week I had my senior capstone I had that last Thursday evening and that is basically uh, my communication studies majors requirement for graduation so I had to give like a presentation to a crowd of like a hundred people and it really went very very well so I'm happy that's over with and I'll no longer have that class to worry about anymore but now I have to kind of concentrate on applying for jobs and maybe an internship after graduation my plan is to move back to St. Louis if you're wondering all right so eyebrows are done and I usually move on to doing my eyeshadow next so as an eye primer, I just cover my whole entire eyelid with this concealer by Maybelline. And I just kind of pat that in. So this morning, it's Saturday by the way, I slept until noon for the first time, I think, in a long time. Like, I don't remember the last time I slept in that late. And it was amazing. It felt so nice to finally be able to catch up on sleep. I've been just non-stop busy all week, so. Yeah, and that's that's why I'm filming this video too today, because I finally have some free time. So as I said earlier, my eyeshadow look changes every day, but I'm showing you a look that I've been doing quite often lately, and it is just using this uh, Studio Makeup Eyeshadow Palette in Cool Down. And I like to use this really pretty champagne-y color right here, and I put this all over my lid first. I just like to apply this using my fingers, because it kind of applies with the most pigmentation when I do that. And I'm really just lazy, honestly. The next thing I do is take this brown color from this Itty Beauty Trio. This is called Three's Company. And I love this eyeshadow trio. I got this in my BoxyCharm box. And I also got this in my BoxyCharm. So I've been using a lot of uh, different things I've gotten from BoxyCharm lately. I actually have to do an updated BoxyCharm unboxing video because I have three that I have not showed you guys yet. I'm kind of horrible. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to take this brown color and put it in my crease. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes and then I'm gonna apply my Maybelline Rocket Volume Mascara. So if you're wondering how I curl my eyelashes, the first thing I do is just press down at the very base of my lashes and the trick is to kind of go up like that a little bit. And then you just do that until you hit the very end of your lashes. Kind of looks scary, but honestly practice makes perfect when it comes to doing your eyelashes with an eyelash curler. Cause it looks terrifying, I know it does. 
So I've been back to using the Maybelline Rocket Volume Mascara, but I decided I definitely like the Maybelline Lash Sensational better. This is my favorite, but this is all dried up, so I'm gonna use this one. The way I apply my mascara is I just wiggle, starting at the roots of my lashes, and then I just go upwards. Sometimes I have really bad um, lash days, you know, like you have bad like hair days. I have bad eyelash days. Hopefully today's not one of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by applying this face primer. This is the Coastal Sense Beginnings Face Primer. I swear every primer I've been using lately has been breaking me out. Like I can't use the Nivea um, face primer I have. I had to throw away the e.l.f. primer I bought because I, I think that was breaking me out. But this, this primer, I don't think has been breaking me out. I do have some breakouts going on right now, but I think they're just hormonal. So I'm back to using this Garnier Fructis BB Cream. I'm in love with this. I don't know what it is, but I always come back to it. It stays on all day long and it looks so natural and it's not too orangey toned for my skin either. So what I like to do is just put some of this on the back of my hand. It's very liquidy. So I just put a little bit of this on the back of my hand and then I just dot it all over my face. I don't know what it is, but when I started doing this, it really started to change my routine and how quickly my routine went and also just how even the coverage was for my face. And then I'm just going to take my Real Techniques sponge and blend out this, this uh, BB cream. I'm really glad I bought another one of these Real Techniques sponges. My other one was getting kind of gross and so I got a new one recently and it is my favorite. I think it's better than the Beauty Blender, personally. I'm going to go back in with a green correcting concealer from YSL and put this on my problem areas that are red and then I'm going to go do a little bit more of the um, Garnier for Chase BB Cream on top of those problem areas. And then I'm taking the Maybelline Master Conceal and I'm putting it on the back of my hand and this is going to be used for my under eyes. So I'm just using my um, facial sponge to just blend this underneath my eyes. I like this concealer. I kind of started using it again recently because I'm running out of my other concealers that I like more. Um, for a while I was using the YSL Touch Eclair, whatever it's called, concealer pin, but I ran out of that. I had gotten it for free in an influencer box, I think, and I've used it before in my videos. I was using it for a while. Super expensive, and I don't think it's necessarily worth the money, so I'm glad I got a chance to try it out. I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes using the L'Oreal Hydro Perfect Translucent Powder. And I'll use this for my under eyes, and then I'll use a different powder to set my whole face. But I like to set my under eyes using a translucent powder because it usually doesn't crease as bad as using like a really heavy-duty face powder would be. So I'm just using the Maybelline Fit Me powder to set my face. I'm using the sponge that comes with it to apply it because I like the sponge for now at least. It gives me more coverage. Now I'm going to go ahead and contour my face using the NYC Sunny Face Bronzer. Next up is blush. I'm using the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. I've had this for so long. Oh my gosh. I got this in my BoxyCharm box. It is a face highlighter by Jessica Liebeskind. It's the vintage highlighter palette. And I like to use this pink shade. I'm gonna take some of this white shimmery color and put this on my nose as a highlight. Just because it's a better highlight for my nose than the pinky highlighters that I just used. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my uh, mascara to my lower lash line like I said I was going to do earlier. The last thing I'm going to do is apply this lip gloss. I think I got this from Charlotte Ruse a while ago and I just think it's so cute. It has real little flowers in it and it smells like the 90s because it reminds me of the lip glosses that I used to have like this when I was a little kid. and. Oh my gosh, it smells like watermelon. I love it. The last thing I have to do is just set my face using this uh, Scandinavia setting spray. And I'm going to let that dry. 
And while that's drying, I just kind of parted my hair to the side because it was parted in the middle of this pretty much this whole video, but I like it parted to the side like this to give it some volume, but I also like it parted in the middle, especially if my hair is so short right now. But yeah, for, for now, I'm gonna part it to the side like this. Alrighty, everyone, so that is my finished makeup look. Um, my hair is kind of crazy right now, but I sort of like it, so it's okay. And I hope you guys all enjoy this everyday makeup routine video. This is a 2017 edition. This year has been pretty wonderful so far, and I'm excited to graduate college in just two months, and hopefully get a job and then have more time to film videos because I won't have to come home and do homework anymore. I'll just work and then come home. And yeah, I'm gonna continue doing my college life vlogs and hopefully have some time the rest of this semester to film some more sit down videos for you all. But um, that is all I have to say. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave your requests down below for what video I should film next. Thank you all for watching. Bye.